the flood have descended on the domain and nothing stands in their way. <laughs> Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. I have been thinking about making this video for a while. I have so many custom flood that I thought I'd showcase them all in one video. I've done many different flood unboxings on the channel before and these customs have come from so many great people like Matty Crafts, LS3D Printing, all sorts of awesome community members including just some random fans who wanted to send me their work. This is the perfect opportunity. If you're up to date with my channel, you know that after this video, a flood firefight diorama is coming. And obviously, I'm going to incorporate a lot of these into that. So I thought I'd show them all off before that video premieres. And I'm going to switch up to a macro lens. Let's take a look at these one by one. Check it out. All right. So as mentioned before, these are from all different people in the community. And we're going to start with one that I think is most people's favorites. Like it's been included on the channel a few times. It's the Floodified Billy the Grunt. Oh my goodness. What horrors have forsaken you, Billy? Billy the Grunt is uh, kind of like the non-official mascot of our channel, just an orange or copper grunt. And this one is so disgusting. I really enjoyed the uh, Flood showcase that I made with this, uh, gosh, back in Hong Kong, so maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, it just looks so disgusting, man. A lot of people who make Flood, they always take the head and they sort of mold it with putty and just sort of add it to the side or the back of the body. Uh, and yeah, this one's screaming, man. <laughs> He's screaming for dear life. Also, the, the thing with Flood is you can just do anything. There is no wrong answer. You can just add any amount of putty, any amount of green stuff or floof and just make whatever you feel like. The back of this is less detailed. There's no painting on his uh, backpack, but he does have extra long fingernails. Yeah, fingernails and uh, toenails. And this one's normal, but you can see this one has been covered up and added like two gross sticking out ones because the flood they you know they they infect your body and then they just push out wherever they feel like it's all randomized there is yet no wrong answer Ugh, get out of my way billy that is disgusting another bam bam creation is the flood chief look at that that is horrifying this one might be my personal favorite i'm not sure just because of the creativity here this extra long arm is seriously cool and bam bam likes to use especially for his flood and big customs he likes to use a lot of pieces from uh what are they called the uh breakout beasts and I can see why it definitely works. A lot of people also like to take these flood tentacles that come with the flood from the Clash on the Ring blind bags. You can just stick them straight in and they give a great effect. And then he's hollowed out the helmet and added a skull inside from some kind of Mega Bloks pirate set. That 117 is still intact which is really great. And then I also just love again like the flood pushes its way out. So I like how it's like pushed out of this crevice here and sort of split the chest piece in half uh, but the chest piece is made from such a strong metal it's not been breached it's just the inner lining of it would you say this arm is okay but this one just a monster especially these two pieces and this one's just been cut off you can just cut random pieces like knife through this is a part of his backpack you can see here and he's just attached it to his arm so you can really get very creative and oh no that might have been where the flood went in which kind of makes sense because i think that's kind of like his skeleton is kind of a little bit more exposed than other parts of his arm so the flood burst through there and just went all over his body ah uh, rip Chief, dude. Rip Chief, what a fantastic figure. You may have noticed uh, one character here that is a bit of a legend on this channel. It's the Flood Emil. And this is a legend because this was meant to be a prize for a giveaway. I was doing the community spotlight for a while on my Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain, and we did a Flood Month. And this was meant to be the winner of the Flood Month. This was meant to be the prize. And uh, unfortunately, it never got picked because I just was so busy that month, I never got round to actually finishing the competition. So I'm going to be redoing the flood month uh, later this year, probably around Halloween time, and I will be giving away this meal as well as some other flood goodies when the time does come. So don't worry if you're thinking, well, why did I not, why did you not draw that flood meal? It will happen one day, don't you worry. So this is another Bam Bam Productions. He's painted those stripes on because I think this meal came with just a plain red uh, shoulder piece. And again, hollowed out the helmet and put a skull inside. Insane. Insane. Like, ugh. And this one, like, this is so gross. It's so gross. Same as Billy the Grunt. He's got one 
one working leg, one monstrosity of a leg. Aye, 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 Emil. Uh, your days are numbered. I think your days are up, actually. I think you're, you're long dead. All right, we got one more Bam Bam Productions to show off today. And wow, this is the Flood Juggernaut. I Yeah, I, I know a lot of people. This is their favorite as well. This is from using a Destiny character. I don't know the name of the Destiny creatures, but I'll put the picture on the screen. He used that. He sort of uh, added a ton more biomass. And obviously those Flood Tentacles again from the Clash on the Ring blind bag. So good, man. It's so good. It has so much uh, articulation to it. And this is going to be the absolute forefront of my uh, Flood diorama. This is going to be the uh, center stage piece. Because why not? Like, this is literally, the ODSTs have to be teamed up to take this down, right? Insane. I absolutely love that Juggernaut. It is amazing. I got two customs now that were from a fan mail that I opened. And these are really dope, man. Like, this is a Brute and an Elite, both Floodified. And again, you can just use uh, green stuff and clay to just do whatever you feel like. It's, it's actually a really creative space. One of my friends on Facebook, Warhammer Richards, he loves making animals and mythological creatures out of clay. It's actually very easy to do. This guy has added a sword blade onto this elite, and this elite actually only has one arm. Perhaps that's because this was a spare elite left over, and that's another pro tip with Flood. If you have a figure that comes with a defected piece, or maybe you lose his arm, or maybe you want to use his armor for a pop and swap, so you're left with just half a figure, then why not just make it into a Flood? Use all your scraps, combine all your spare figures, combine all your missing parts to make a Flood monstrosity. The sky's the limit. So this elite dope and he filled in that hole as well which is nice and then this brute as well a load of tentacles running down his arm to hold his mangler uh, Mola. <laughs> We're not that far into Halo Infinite yet. Tentacles coming out of this biomass here. Oof. Oh, look. <laughs> the flood infected him so much he lost his leg. Now, honestly, just a savage custom. A, a pair of savage customs. Really, really dope. And then you may know that my official channel mascot is ODST Avery. Well, he didn't make it through this one. <laughs> Every time I come to a country, uh, a fan sends me, like, a new Avery. I have Hong Kong Avery. I have USA Avery. And look, this is infected USA Avery. And this guy actually sent me both an Avery America and an infected Avery America, and uh, yeah, they're so dope. Painted assault rifle there. The official Avery figure came with the Arctic drop pod originally. This one, though, is a custom, and we've added the white paint to match that original Avery as well. Blue visor, and then a crazy uh, sort of stalker arm. You could imagine this impaling right through a Marine, picking him right up into the air. It's kind of like a tentacle, but I imagine this is like hardened up. Maybe they can just uh, leave it to sort of decay and harden up, because uh, some of the tentacles on... Uh, like, for example, the Juggernaut are very uh, lucid, very movable. But this one uh, perhaps is more sh more sharpened and more uh, hard. Rip Avery, man. What a shame. But a uh, really dope flag and really creative that you were able to make f a flag out of clay. That is really dope. Now we've got this gorgeous figure here. The Flood Honor Guard with three sharp pincers here, like Wolverine claws. Oh my goodness. I showed this off on a video quite recently, so you can check that out. But I especially love the fact that this is an incorporation of both new articulation and old articulation. And this is from Strandy42 on Instagram. Please do follow him. The fact that he's used old articulation pieces for an honor guard, like the old articulation helmet, but then added it to a new articulation elite to give the idea that it's a new articulation honor guard. Phenomenal. And I'm in contact with someone on email right now who is planning to send me another Flood Elite honor guard, and I'm really excited about that. Yes. Now that we're getting Flood back, now that Flood is actually confirmed to be returning to Mega Constructs next year, it's only a matter of time until we get flood honor guards, flood everything. We're gonna have a flood renaissance, I'm telling you. The last two for today. Oh my goodness. Look at these. A flood elite and flood marine. This flood marine did have three tentacles. They've snapped off, but honestly, again, there's no right or wrong answer with flood. I might glue them back on, but I kind of like those exposed red pipes. Look at that screaming. I think this is like the wasp pilot. I really love the halo reach kind of paint job that's been added to this. Maybe like a halo two marine. It's really nice, uh, really high quality. Like these are painted by like a true professional. And this elite actually comes with an LS 3D printed plasma rifle. So this has been printed by LS3D Printing on Instagram. He does amazing work, including like ODST helmets and Halo Reach inspired weapons. Really great guy. I recommend you checking him out. I'm going to be doing a lot of work with him in the future. These two have been painted, yeah, like professional like Warhammer miniatures. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they just, they make up the last two figures in our showcase. But goodness me, they are really special. Just, oh, the, the dry brushing on there, superb. And the way that this uh, biomass is like pricked with like a toothpick. 
gives a really great 3D effect. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Even the, the hole in the head kind of works. <laughs> I thought he might have filled it in, but to be fair, that could have been where the flood got in. So yeah, we've got an elite and a marine floodified. We're gonna show off that elite one more time. Look at that. And the marine. Wow. We've got our ODST Avery, Flood Elite Honor Guard, a Floodified Banished Brute, and Elite with only one arm. Oh, so gruesome. Our Bam Bam Productions figures, the Floodified Emil, Master Chief, Billy the Grunt, and the Flood Juggernaut. Wow. It's just so dope to have so many Flood. These are going in to my Flood firefight diorama. So in my previous video, you can check out that I did a full diorama showcase showing off all four of the dios that I have on display right now. In this episode, we showed off all the flood that are going into the last episode, my flood firefight diorama. It's going to be my largest flood diorama of all time. So I'm sure you guys will be excited to check that out. As always, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the flood is signing off.